getting challenging. Nobody wants to let me go live. I'm confused. Why am I not going live? It's confusing me. I'm trying to get this thing to work, but it's not working. There's tons of Kayleys out. You know what? I'm a Kaylee. So I know tons of Kayleys. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You're old. <laughs> Will you be my sugar daddy? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Kayleaf? You're just all giggly today. Um, uh, things? <laughs> There's a Kaylee over there. <laughs> She's walking her dogs. <laughs> I've got two dogs. Because <laughs> I like dogs. <laughs> this guy's got a nice bike. It's an R7. <laughs> Why are you unhappy? Um, not unhappy. <laughs> I'm going to start running. I'm so happy. <laughs> My sister, Gen Z Kelly, is upset. And I don't know why. She seems sad. Um. <laughs> oh, Gen Z Kelly's here now. Gen Z Kelly's mad. Jensi Kelly likes to talk in the third person. Mm. Why are you wearing that bright green? It's burning my eyes. Mm. You know what I did today? I matched with a guy. Oh, bubble. Then you know what he did? He didn't say anything. And then he just unmatched me. But I was like, you just torpedoed my self-esteem for the whole day. And I don't care how beautiful it is today. Out. I really don't care. Because there's rosin pork bellies right there. And it's making me upset. I'm really unhappy. What am I gonna do? I'm really unhappy. I don't like your channel. It's always so negative. You always talk about the negatives of dating. You never talk about the positives. You never talk about the positives. This is Jensi Kelly, always crying. You broke my heart again, Paul. You did it again. You broke my heart. There's squirrels everywhere. Hey, squirrel. Oh, you made me a little bit happier, but I'm still sad. Still miserable. Ooh. 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 There's a squirrel right there. There's squirrels everywhere. I'm tripping over myself. This is ridiculous. Hit the like button. Gen Z Kelly! Why are you just making noises? You're not funny. You're just, you're just a weirdo. You're just weird. I'm not unhappy. You're unhappy. I'm going to act like a two-year-old now. Trying to get your attention. <laughs> your stream stinks. You got a bad attitude. You look like the you're you're bright more bright green than the grass. I don't like you anymore. Unsubscribe. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll resubscribe. I'm not unhappy. Stop screaming and scaring the little kids over here. <sighs> I matched with Paul on Tinder. You know what he did? He didn't say anything. And then I said something. I just said hi. And then he unmatched me. Can you believe this? This is making me upset. I'm scaring normies. I don't like you anymore. I really don't like you. You're going you're gonna to go harass some normies now? Is that what you're going to do? Are you going to get to the topic already? It's already five minutes in and you haven't even said anything. You're just making a lot of noises. <sighs> <laughs> you know what, I'm kind of just walking in a circle for no freaking reason. What the hell's wrong with me? <sighs> Legionnaires, you night! Today's gonna be fantastic. Let me tell you something. I just did... So much research 
on all these topics, man. You guys are going to love what's coming. I got a lot of, in, I got some crazy streams coming, man. They're going to be fantastic. But today, I want to hit this one out of the park. The rise of the unhappy American woman. Gentlemen, there are literally squirrels jumping from tree to tree. What the hell is going on today? They must be in heat or in season or whatever the hell. Mating. You know what? Let's go to the beach, guys. Let's go to the freaking pier. So you guys can see what's happening in the real world. It's going to be spectacular. You know what? Should I go down the street? You know what I'll do is I'll go down the street so you guys can see kind of a different angle. But it's been really, really bad for American women lately, guys. It's been bad. All the stuff that I've been talking about for the past year and a half going on, you know, we're moving up to two years. It's getting really bad. It's it, pff, holy cow. And it's way worse than I could have ever, you know, look. It's going to be rough for my little American girls for a while. I'm sorry, American women. I really am. I mean, I didn't think it would be this bad. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's kind of amusing. It, it really is. It's kind of funny, but it's kind of sad. It, it's, it's a bunch of things. I mean, it's so... Oh, man. Let's just start from the beginning. <laughs> the rise of the unhappy woman. And then we're going to talk about how they get played in dating literally every day. And for those of you guys who are dating, those of you who are not, whatever, you want to know what's really funny? Is every time you hook up with a woman, you're, you're literally, what you're doing, <laughs> what you're doing is breaking her heart. I know you may not see this. I know you may not know this. I know you may think, well, I told her up front. I'm not saying feel bad. I'm not saying feel guilty. I'm saying hit the like button. Donkey punch the like button. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Hit the notification bell. What I'm getting at is you're, you're torpedoing these girls' self-esteem and you don't even know it. And as silly as I look right now with my sun hat, my big ass sunglasses and my green shirt, bright green, it looks like a puke green. <laughs> it's funny because even now, guys, even now, it's not that difficult. It really isn't feel. And it's not a brag, not at all. What I'm getting at is I want you guys to know that it's it's better than you think it is that the options that you have and you have to be I saw another one of these freaking videos you need to be high value bruh. here's how you become high value to get what son here's my question to all you idiot dating coaches you know I'm probably gonna get a yellow dollar sign for that I got a question for the dating coaches out there and all of the you know the game guys Let's just say, okay, not all dating coaches, not all game guys. <laughs> you, oh crap. Struggle streaming. Struggle streaming. <laughs> the worst streaming spots. How do I find the worst streaming spots? That's what I want to know. How do I always find like the worst? Here we go again. <coughs> Struggle streaming. Struggle streaming. Fantastic. <laughs> this stupid stream. Jeez Louise. Let's see if I can just go up. If I'm not going to get any streaming here, might as well just go up. <sighs> All right, don't. This is so frustrating. <sighs> skip, 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 skip. <sighs> Did I get a smooth stream now? Are we good now? 
Are we good on the stream? I think we're good. Well, I've got some comedic information for you gentlemen, for sure. To all my average guys, to all my regular dudes, to all my guys who don't really care one way or the other. It's really amusing because hit that like button. Hit the freaking like button. It's really amusing. You know what? Let's get a good shot. Let's get a good shot so you guys can see how nice it is out today. It's pretty freaking nice. I got news for you guys. I got good news. Girls can literally, unfortunately, literally, think that all these mechanisms that are happening, all these things that are happening to them right now, check it out, guys. It is starting out today. Let's get to the next city over. Let's start rocking out and singing in a freaking 80s rock band voice. L.A. Delhi. <laughs> and normies are like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? I got good news for you, gentlemen. And I've got amusing news, too, as well. All the things that keep happening to the little A.W.s that they complain about and they blame you for and all this. They seem to really not get... They, they really just don't get it. They really don't understand what's happening to them. They literally don't even know that they're... Guys, you understand that the average AW has no idea that she's even unhappy. She thinks that this is normal. Resting bee face. Mm -hmm. oh, I need to keep men away. <laughs> Thousand C stare. You know what I mean? A thousand eggplant stare. She thinks this is normal. Oh, oh. She thinks this is normal in her everyday life. Look at how, guys, you gotta appreciate the little things in life, especially when you're broke. <laughs> Sometimes we're broke, guys. Sometimes we come up high with lots of money. Excuse me, quick question. Do you know if you have to pay to work here? Uh, I think so. I think so, yeah. Uh, I'm not quite sure, dude. To, you got to go to the little pay things. Okay. okay, thank you. No problem, dude. Have a good one. I don't know if I told him that. <laughs> Why do people come up to me when I'm straight? Uh-oh, K-Leafs. Uh-oh. Uh, stay still, guys. When there's K-Leafs, if you stay completely still, they may not see you. And start giggling and run over. <laughs> I knew you too. <laughs> Why do you make us sound like Cartman from South Park? Uh, mm. I don't know. <laughs> Little Kate Luke's, man, they're cute. So, they literally don't know what's going on, guys. The, the AWs don't understand how miserable they actually... It, it's kind of disturbing because they're so not self-aware. They have almost zero self-awareness. And it's disturbing because in life, you need to be at least a little self-aware, right? You need to have a little bit of understanding of what's going on and understand your shortcomings, understand who you are. But they're so not aware at all that they don't even know what the hell, what type of face is there. You know what I mean? Oh, look at this, Kaylee. Oh, I need to look at my phone. He's looking at his phone. So I'm going to look at my phone. She's a cute Kaylee, man. About five and a half. Six, almost. Very cute. Very, very nice. Nice body. Platinum blonde hair. She was actually a real blonde, guys. She's cute. Short face, dude. Maybe next time, buddy. This is a uh, guys only space. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hit that like button. So they, they're not very self aware. It's really disturbing at how confused the little AWs, they don't even understand how happy they actually are. And it's mainly because they're so wrapped up in the victim narrative. And the victim narrative has been going on for <laughs> decades now. But I'm going to help it tie it all back together to what's going on in the dating world for them. And why they're screwed in so many ways and why they're having so much trouble. 
Because there was an article that came out about a year ago that essentially was in Psychology Today, which the little ladies read a lot of that because they're, <laughs> they're completely out to lunch in the West. They're reading all types of psychology. See, we told you. And it was from a simp, of course, who said that guys need to step up and fix themselves in a relationship and the rise of the single lonely man and all this. What's really funny is it had nothing to do with that what's actually going on in the real world. See, you're lonely just like us guys. There's these big ass pelicans in the what the hell? What the hell is going on? There's like these pelicans just kicking it with some ducks. What are they up to? I'm getting into some trouble over there, you little pelicans. I know what you're up to, buddy. I know what you're up to. You're just waiting for some fish. And so this news article comes out and it's the rise of the single lonely man. And men are more single and lonely than ever. Well, duh. But so are women. In fact, women are actually worse. Women report to be in relationships more often than men. Yeah. More and more by choice. Men are single and not pursuing dating. Now, there's a good chunk that is not by choice. But most of them or by choice and here's why the modern american western woman whatever is a very unhappy creature and guys in general do not want to be around that guys in general will gravitate away from illness from mental instability from pain from suffering and so this whole, this article goes on and on about how guys are reporting to be more single than ever. 63% or whatever of, of men are reporting to be single, but thir only 30% of women are reporting to be single. Well, this is retarded. That makes no sense. How do the numbers not add up? How can 63% of men be single, but 33% 30 30 of women be being single? Either one or the other group is lying, which we probably know which is. Because guys are pretty, when you poll guys, when you guys ask guys questions, they're going to be pretty honest. They're usually going to calculate the numbers and say, be pretty honest, usually. So how does 63% of dudes or 60% or whatever are single, <laughs> but 30% of women are not? Do you guys understand the math there? The women are sharing specific men. Do you see what I'm saying? Right or no? Have, they have to. Gentlemen, they keep bragging about making more money. They keep saying that they're raising their standards and all this. And that's fantastic. Have at it, girls. What you don't understand is if guys are staying exactly the same and maybe making a little bit more money, maybe improving their lives a little bit, there's not all of a sudden a, you know, splur... Uh, uh, a massive increase in dudes getting more height or the six sixes and all this other nonsense so you can raise your standards till you're blue in the face all you're doing is going after a higher crop of guy that other women are sharing that's what you little ladies don't understand you're sharing the same guys and some of you are perfectly okay see here's the girls that are really okay with it top 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 level which is very rare top top level nines and tens which are extraordinarily rare most men have never met a nine or a ten in their entire lives and it's not you know i'm not belittling them or anything but that's how it is you've never really even seen one because they're literally almost flawless so you can call yourself a ten till you're blue in the face ladies but you know you're not you know you're average or below average you know that you're struggling to get dates so what do you do you all chase the top level guys well yeah you're going to struggle to get dates because he has only so much time available now this may be very hard for some of you to understand or believe or you're going to you know roast me but guess what when i turned about 17 well let's say in 19 i became a chad guys i had a nice fat growth spurt started to get a chiseled jaw the blue eyes started to you know really shine I started to get in really good physical condition. I started getting really shredded. 
and I'm going to tie this all back together. Right? Started to get the real nice smile, got my braces off. Thank you to my parents for braces. All these things started to come together. And let me tell you something, guys. I went from being, you know, tr pretty much invisible to now all of a sudden all these. So I've been on both sides of the fence. I've been the invisible guy and I've been the Chad. And I've been the fat guy. Now, what does this have to do with anything? When you become any type of Chadwick Fairbanks and girls start saying things like, oh my God, your eyes are so gorgeous. I can just jump inside. You know, they start saying things like this. You go, oh crap, I got the upper hand. Oh my God, your abs. Oh my God, your arms. Oh my God, you know, they, whatever. Now, what does this have to do with anything? Well, when you start going out there and you start slaying because these ladies are enamored, they're drooling over all your attributes, your physical attributes. You know what happens? They throw all of their standards, whatever you want to call it, they throw all their inhibitions away. They start to go completely crazy. And they just want to, you know, get to some bedroom activity. All right. So what does this have to do with anything? Well, more and more of them will either attempt to share that guy or not even understand that they're sharing that guy. They are going to make plenty of rules for dudes that they find unattractive. You can call them betas, whatever you want to call it. But they're definitely not going to give any rules to the top level guy, alpha, whatever you want to call it. I know these dating coaches use these terms interchangeably, but I don't use these terms, guys, because language is important. And change these So what am I getting at? Well, they start going after you, they start drooling over you, and they start hooking up, and you can hook up with pretty much any of these that you'd like, or toss them to the curb. What happens? They're all fighting for the same dude, and they don't even know it. They're all fighting for this top-level guy. And then what happens? Well, <laughs> that guy can pick and choose. He can flick away all the ugly fatties if he wants, or he can hook up with an ugly fatty. Now, here's the conundrum of all this. Women have raised their standards. They're going after chads. They're getting out there. What happens when it's over? What happens with Chad, myself, Chadwick Fairbanks, whatever, light vest guy, says, eh, I'm bored. Eh, I don't feel like being with this you know, annoying individual anymore. She keeps wanting to spend more time with me. She wants to do X, Y, Z. I'm just looking for a hookup. Oh yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Oh yeah, sure. And then after you hook up with her, feelings 90% of the time are going to get involved and now she's after you. Well, what happened to all those chicks that I hooked up with? Which I hooked up with a lot, guys. Lots of little Kayleys. All right? Lots of little Kayleys on roller skates and you know, as you can see, this runner, Kaylee. <laughs> Lots of them, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Yeah, gonna run today. <laughs> that, that thin one's not bad. The one in the red. Not bad. Not bad, Kaylee. You're in pretty good shape, girl. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. It's a little, little thin for me, but she's still in good shape. So what happens when you just kick them, start kicking them to the curb? Gentlemen, you break them. You break them way worse than you ever thought you could break anybody in your entire life, and you don't even know it. Now, what does this have to do with anything? All these girls are chasing the top-level guys. The top-level guys are getting flooded with messages. They can't even keep up. Yes, guys, I'm not proud of it because, to be honest with you, it was a waste of mother effort. Guys, one time I had three new chicks in one day, and I'm not making this up. Two of them were decent. One of them, eh, not so much. This isn't a brag. It's to let you know that this was what they do behind closed doors. And guys are starting to realize this. Well, what happens? Well, now you got a bunch of chicks that have been ran through 
haven't gotten anything from it, and now are bitter and hurt. They could say till they're blue in the face, I just want to hook up. I want to be like a guy. I want to, I want to have fun. And then I want to go back to Poindexter or Beta Brad or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they're still in pain. They're in major pain. You want to know why, guys? Because they could not secure his attention and validation. They wanted his... I'll never forget there was this Latina. This one Latina, guys. I'll never forget. This one Latina who really wanted to be with me. She really, really wanted to be with me. Guys, it took under, I don't know, an hour or two of meeting her. Of me closing the deal. Okay? It's, I mean, it was, it was record time, like really fast. Her attraction level was through the roof. And you're going to meet girls like this periodically in your life. Even if you're a hideous chud, there's going to be girls that are attracted to you guys. It's just, it's inevitable. Even if you're a norm, normal average guy. What am I getting at? Well, what she did was she hounded me like crazy. I closed the deal. I said, I'm only, I'm not looking for any type of relationship, any of that. And she's like, oh, that doesn't matter. Oh. Anyway, close the deal. And then, of course, she wanted to spend time with me right afterwards. And I said, no. And I had to kick her out. I only hooked up with her a couple times, guys. But this, she never forgot me. And she still pursued. Years later, I would get messages from her. And that's not only her, but other women as well. Now, what am I getting at? They get played all the time, guys all the time because they are not matching up with guys at their level they're getting rejected by guys that are much above their station and what does this have to do with anything this torpedoes their confidence it torpedoes their self-esteem it erodes their everything over time and what i'm getting at is guys you may think that you're not getting a ton of action, some of you guys, and it sucks and all this, you have avoided a massive, massive, massive red flag. You have no idea. You have avoided unbelievable amounts of mental anguish, of baggage, of fear, all sorts of, you know, stupid hoops, that you have to jump through. Well, only if you do this, then I'll do that. That's where all those standards come from, guys, because when you first meet a little Kaylee for Kaylee, gentlemen, they have no they have no rules. Just basic, you know, be in shape, have some get, you know, charisma, some charm. And I'm not going to get into the whole dating coach thing, not at all. What I'm getting at is they're broken from a young age. Their, their self-confidence is torpedoed. Everything about them is torpedoed. At a young age, and they do it to themselves, and then they wonder why they're 30, 40, 50, and still chasing Chadwick Fairbanks, and still alone. I'm destined to be alone forever. Like, we're supposed to feel sorry for them. And that's another reason, guys, why I stopped hooking up. It's another reason why I stopped going out and getting into all sorts of mischief. Donkey punch the like button as you come in. It's another reason why I started avoiding all these headaches and going into monk mode. I know a lot of Chadwick Fairbanks and Tyronius Maximuses thinks, think that it's going to be a ton of fun and all this nonsense, but in all reality, gentlemen, it's pretty annoying. Because as you get older, you set yourself back years. You set yourself back further and further by just chasing a bunch of tail. That's what these guys don't understand. Now you can translate it into dating coach nonsense and you know try to convince a bunch of dudes who are five foot three that they're gonna be a alpha one day. And you can lie to them all you want. But most of those guys are catching on. They're realizing they have to be more realistic. And that's what this really boils down to. The reason why American women are so unhappy at this point in time is their unrealistic expectations.
And this has been, you know, they've gone over this a million times. However, it's going to get to the point where the levels of delusion and reality are so separate that they won't even be able to cope with the real world at all. And it's getting to that point, guys. There's going to be a point where they're seeking attention in the real world at such a high level and not getting it from guys that they're going to be begging for it on the street corner. They're going to be begging for attention, guys. It's getting that bad and it will get worse. And the reason for this is because they don't, they're not taking any responsibility for any of this. And when you don't take a responsibility, what happens, guys? You get in that failure triangle. Do some outrageous behavior. Do something crazy. Do something self-destructive. Then what you do, don't take any responsibility for it. Blame guys for the problem. Then we go back to doing something completely irresponsible. Don't take any accountability for it, no responsibility. And then you blame guys for this problem. You see what I'm saying, guys? It's never ending. The more you deflect any type of responsibility, accountability, what happens is you become a loser. You become a failure. You start failing at everything. You start losing more and more and more. Everybody's out, out today. It's kind of surprising for a Saturday. Usually not as many people, but... Let's take a look at the harbor. It's pretty freaking nice, guys. Just chilling. He's just chilling. So, yeah. Oof. I don't wish... I, I'm so glad I'm not a, <laughs> an AW. They start, they start off so strong, don't they? They start off bubbly little K-leafs. Ha ha ha! You're cute. You're handsome. Oh my God, you're in shape. They're so easy to please, gentlemen. It's spectacular. And then it just just spirals and is down. They go from being these long-haired, bubbly little things to now short hair, anger. And it stems from them chasing the top-tier dudes who want nothing to do with them in the long run. And gentlemen, it doesn't end. It's not like all of a sudden they learned their lesson. <laughs> they still do it in their 40s and 50s. And then they complain on social media. I'm such a catch. Why wouldn't anybody want to be with me? No, you are not a catch. You have insane standards that the average guy will never meet. You're used to certain active... Guys, I hear these fat chicks literally talking like high-class valley girls. You know what I mean? And I'm going, what? You're like 450 pounds. You've got a legion of simps out there <laughs> in the West kissing their butts. Again, guys, this leads to more unhappiness. The average fat girl is told all the time that she's special and that she's incredible and she's amazing and you go, girl, body positivity. Even them, they fight within each other. Even those communities fight with each other. Well, you're not completely inclusive, body positivity. You, you know, you're, you're talking about weight loss and you're 900 pounds. That's not body positive. Guys, there even, <laughs> there's even dissent in those ranks. Can you believe that? <laughs> it was like, dude, can you guys get your act together? No, you can't because every movement falls apart eventually, guys. It has the exact opposite effect of what it had in the beginning. <laughs> it's like two. So what am I getting at? Even these girls are lied to all the time and they don't believe any of this stuff. Yeah, I was told I was beautiful all the time, but it made, you know, I didn't believe it. There was something wrong with what was happening. You literally have these body positivity freaks talking about how it's so delusional. I can't, some of it, it's, it just doesn't even compute. I can't even reiterate it they'll talk about how they'll try to separate the facts of all the health problems that they're incurring <laughs> with the fantasy that it's perfectly okay you can look all that stuff up guys for me it just gives me a headache i, I can't even 
<laughs> what the hell are you talking about, man? But this is just adding on to that unhappiness. Oh, yes, guys, I'm bright green today. Hit that like button as you file on in. I'm bright green. I'm going to burn your eyeballs. And then we're going to go to the L.A. Deli. <laughs> the L.A. Deli. That's a rock. That's a real rock song. <laughs> that's an 80s rock song. I'm just kidding. Oh, the L.A. Deli. This shit. That's just silly. But, yeah, it's unfortunate. So for me, the more chicks that I ran through, the more times I hooked up, the more I realized I was leaving carcasses behind me. Sad, burned out women. And by the way, they wouldn't say these things to me, usually, because they wanted to save face or they thought there would be an opportunity down the line. But you know exactly what they would do. They would tell their little girlfriends about how, how evil I was how much of a jerk I am, how I didn't want to be with them. And usually to get rid of them, guys, the best thing to do to get rid of them would be just to love bomb them. And it would just get them to go away. But they were really irritating. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's pretty sad. So a lot of these little ladies have no idea what reality is. All they know is getting ran through. All they know is zero dates. All they know is zero boyfriends. There are more and more women on social media talking about how they've never had a relationship in their entire lives. They've never even been on a date. More and more of them saying, I'm not the guy that are not the girl that men fall in love with. I'm not that girl. And see, here's what's really funny. A lot of you guys say, well, there's a lot of good guys out there that they, get, they could get with and their standards are too high. Guys, that really has not much to do with it. What it really boils down to is they don't think they could get even a normal average guy. And the reason for this is because they think even he's going to toss them to the side of the road. See, women are easily traumatized, guys. Let's just be real. They talk about them being uh, women's intuition and women's resilience and they can handle... No, they can't, guys. They are not... They cannot deal with rejection. They can't deal with it. Rejection to them is way worse than rejection to us, guys. I know some of you guys may be a little bit afraid of rejection, just in general. You know, anxiety and whatever. And guys, it's way worse for them. It's absolutely debilitating. When they get kicked to the curb, it's the end of the world, guys. They cry for days, months, weeks. Then they start doing self-destructive things. Haven't you guys ever noticed after a heartbreak, women just start imploding? You know, they're never going to try. They, they try to put on a brave front, but they just implode. They start self. I can't even say it. They start hurting themselves in some ways. I can't say, I can't really say it on YouTube. But they start hurting themselves in some ways. They start doing things that, uh, well, let's just say, <laughs> let's just, okay, how about tattoos, body piercings, face, you know, anything that they can, where they can feel again. They're going to do things to themselves, guys. And it's sad because once they start doing that, it's an ever downward spiral, right? They keep putting themselves into poor situations, all based off of feelings. And then they say, you know, they'll come out with a video where they will say, you know, I'm done chasing guys. Guys are, you know, terrible and all this other nonsense. But in all reality... They're just lashing out, guys. They're lashing out because they lie to each other. They tell each other that everything's fine. That you're going to meet a good guy and it's always the guy's fault. Again, it goes back to the failure triangle. Blame all guys. Do something that's completely self-destructive. Take no responsibility for it. And back to blame all guys again.
It's a vicious cycle that it will never, ever stop. And they don't learn their lesson until it's way too late. It's kind of crazy, huh? Parabiology, if women's intuition was actually real, how do they explain all the single mothers? Exactly. <laughs> That's a damn good question, parabiology. <laughs> women's intuition. That's, that's just a bunch of nonsense, guys. That's them being little investigative reporters. And you know how they love to investigate. They love to go through your, try to go through your things. Guys, don't ever leave them alone with your things. If they're a traditional foreign women, it's different. But you have to build trust. Trust is earned. Trust is not given. You don't ever leave them al alone with your stuff until you can trust them. And even then, you got to watch them, guys. If they're a traditional foreign woman, different set of rules, obviously. They're much more controlled and measured. But AWs? new. No. I never leave them alone with my stuff. Not in the past. Hell no. <clears throat> so yeah, they come up with all these little... They come up... <laughs> they come up with all these little... Uh, sayings and red flags and you don't shouldn't go after the but here's the worst part of it all they all lie to each other about this they say you're going to be perfectly fine you're going to find somebody there's somebody for everybody no there's not there's more women than men on this planet there will always be more women than men on this planet there is not somebody for everybody especially if you are shooting for something that is completely unrealistic especially if you are over the hill you are post wall if you're about to smack into the wall you do not have more options you have less you have less opportunities than ever there is not somebody for everybody miss everything needs to feel good not everything feels good in life booyah hit the like button hit the like friggin button i'm cooking today baby I'm cooking buckwheat pancakes with a little bit of peanut butter. That's right. And some, uh, per uh, what are those, uh, probiotics. I'm cooking today, baby. You best believe. <laughs> so, yeah, peak chatting for me, gentlemen. I was leaving them broke. Leaving them broken. Or, here's what was funny. They would hook up with me after a breakup because I was the rebound guy. Oh, yeah, guys. I became a professional at that. Now, I'm not bragging. Again, it was the biggest waste of time. You guys think you need to r run out here and chase and do all these silly things. And here you're going to be. You're going to be just like the AWs that you chase. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have nothing. <laughs> this little Kaylee becoming a Karen. I thought that was very amusing. She's like, hmm, that was funny. He's, he's, a, he's a funny guy. It's not what you guys think. And by the way, if you are chasing, boy oh boy, you have your priorities out of whack, son. Especially on dating apps. We're not even talking about it in person. I guess this is... Because boy oh boy, <laughs> all women are doing on dating apps are swiping on the top level guys. Tall guys, guys on motors. Guys, you know what I would do? You guys really want to know what I would do on dating apps? I would post a picture of me smiling on my motorcycle. It's pretty much it. Uh, a picture of a suit, me in a suit. And what else did I? That's pretty much it. Say a couple funny, or uh, say something, you know, jerkish. Now, what am I getting at? What a waste of time. What a waste of mother effing time, dude doing all that stuff trying to get right angles and just a freaking waste of time guys because all you're gonna get is a bunch of trash a bunch of trash that's all here's what's funny the vast majority of what you deal with on dating apps is garbage because they've already been ran through <laughs> and now they're swiping more guys you know how often i would see girls on these dating apps that i'd already hooked up with <laughs> I'm not joking. What a pathetic existence for me. And that's why, you know, guys, for me, I don't brag about this stuff. It was a pathetic existence. Oh, whoop de doo You get a bunch. Who cares, man? Here's the problem is after post-nut clarity is eye-opening. Let's hit that like button. 
post that clarity after years words you're like why did i do all this i put in all this effort for what for this little skinny ling ling right here whoop de doo the juice isn't worth the squeeze gentlemen i don't care how fast you get it the juice is almost never worth the squeeze for real chasing a bunch of <laughs> chasing a bunch of people who have already hit the wall chasing a bunch of people who have insane expectations what a waste of time mister you need to become high I can't stand these dating coaches I really can't man you need to be high value you're not high value enough bro you know what you can take your high value and you can shove it where the sun don't shine son because you are a freaking mental patient because if you think this is worth it to become high value you're out of your effing mind you need to get some brain cells in your head. You think this is worth becoming high value? What the hell's the matter with you? <laughs> these, these dummies are making it even worse. You got these dummies out here trying to push this nonsense. Now, maybe 40, 50, 60 years ago, that would have made sense. But even then, what's the point? Most men are not going to make it to that. And why should they raise the bar even higher and chase after women's standards? That makes no sense whatsoever. Once again, you are prioritizing and pedestalizing women. Becoming high value is not for women. That is for a specific purpose. Because guess what, gentlemen? If you become high value, you're not going to get a better crop of girls. Take a look at what's happening right now to all the high value guys. Is they getting high value women? No, they're not. Are they getting a better crop of women? No, they're getting divorced, son. Wake up. Use your effing brain. It's just annoying, man. It gets on my nerves. These guys are the biggest douchebags on the planet. I'm high value. That means what you need to do is uh, you need to make 75 figures and then uh, you need to have six sixes that don't even exist on the... The six sixes don't even exist. That's like 0.0001% of anybody in the entire planet. What are you talking about, son? Oh, but you got to get your game up. Oh, you got to get your money up. Oh, for what? To provide for somebody who's going to divorce you? Is your brain on... I mean... <laughs> and even the conservatives are even worse. These are liberal guys and the conservative ones are even worse. Oh, I defend marriage. This one dummy, I'm going to tie this back to you. This one dummy on one of these YouTube channels. Oh, I defend the, uh, I defend marriage because it's attacked all the time. And, uh, it's not 50% divorce rate. It's, uh, 60%. And, uh, what are you even saying, man? You live in a liberal society and you're defending marriage where the vast majority of people don't even want to get married anymore including well it's debatable but they say women don't want to get married but they definitely do are you for real and you guys wonder why women would be so unhappy <laughs> you literally have all these people fighting with each other and they don't have one single set of rules This is what you get, son. This is what you get. A bunch of confusion and a bunch of silliness. And unfortunately, it's going to get a lot worse for AWs. It's going to get a hell of... They are still stuck in that failure triangle. Blame guys for their problems. Do something self-destructive. Don't take any responsibility for your actions. Hit the like button. The failure triangle, guys, over and over and over again. How do you get out of it? <laughs> you got to break one of those cycles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is gorgeous out today. Check it out. Let's see the little Kayleys. They are playing volleyball. Let's play volleyball. Let's play volleyball. <laughs> Let me inject my lips with Botox. Yeah, so anyway, the dating apps. Yeah, guys, that set me back decades.
That's why I'm in monk mode. Guys, I'm almost a year in monk mode. There's a reason why I've sacrificed this much, gentlemen, because chatting and hooking up and all that. And by the way, even if I got an eight or the once in a lifetime of nine, it didn't matter, guys. It was still a headache. <laughs> because once again, you are not your brief faults law. There has to be something more. There has to be something that they're attracted to. There has to be something more that they get out of this situation, okay? That's just how it goes. This Kaylee is riding like at half a mile per hour. Look at her. How's she even holding the bike up? Mm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> little Kayleaf. Some Kayleafs are very, very, very silly guys. They'll do cartwheels in front of you and they'll... <laughs> They're very cute. Oh, oh, she's stopping. Okay, Kayleaf, you're in my way. Go around, Kayleaf. Hit the like button, guys. What, what are you doing, Kayleaf? Kayleaf, what are you doing, man? You gotta get out of my way. Come on, Kayleaf. Um, uh, I'm searching through my bag. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to fix things. But yeah, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. It's a mess. It's a rough, rough, rough patch for the average AW. Hit that like button as you guys stumble on in. We got people doing... What the hell? This guy's making like a... Holy cow. It looks like a welded door. What the hell is that? You see that door up there? It's made out of like titanium or something. <sighs> yeah, so the chatting didn't do anything. That was horrible. And I realized how many of them were just completely, completely delusional. They thought they could... See, here's when I really learned that things were a mess. Is when the AWs thought that they could get a relationship, they could transfer a hookup into a relationship. I really realized that they were very different from us. Because guys know instinctively, if it's just a hookup, it's just a hookup. It doesn't matter how many times they say, oh, I just wanted to have fun and all this. Gentlemen, it doesn't matter. They're still, deep down, trying to get the relationship. They're trying to, what is it, uh, parlay it. Parlay. <laughs> They're trying to <laughs> transfer the hookup energy into relationship energy. And how often does that work? It doesn't. Oh, these girls are attention thoughts. This, this Kaylee is really trying to get attention really badly. I think this guy's got a lot. See, they're both fixated on this dude. See this dude right here? Chadwick Fairbanks. They're both fixated on him. And she is wiggling her butt around. <laughs> Good for him. But again, guys, you can't stop. No matter how hard you try, little ladies, hit that like button as you guys come in. No matter how hard you try, little ladies, you're always going to want to pair a bond with, the, with a man. You can see, and I see these searches all the time. Oh, how to not try to get validation from a guy. How to not seek male validation. It will never happen, ladies. Biology isn't me. You're going to have to deal with the fact that you are going to be seeking male validation and attention for the rest of your life. What is this kid up to? Oh. <laughs> you see how silly they are, man. They're funny guys. <laughs> so, okay. Oh man, she's she's so slow moving. You know, guys. To be honest with you, back in my Chad days, I would have definitely I would have approached her probably. <laughs> and you want to know why? Because she's so slow moving. Because she's moving at like half a mile an hour. <laughs> and the reason for this is because when they're moving real slowly, guys, they got nothing to do. When they are moving at half mast, they're either hungover. <laughs> or they're completely tranquil or they just I don't want to see you right? or they're completely approachable or all of the above and it's just funny because it would have been a waste of time even back then you know what I mean because all you're doing is setting yourself up for more headaches even if I get the number even if we end up hanging out and doing all these things and everything goes perfectly. Even then, it's going to be a massive headache. And the dating roaches don't want you to know this. 
Hit that like button as you guys come in. The little dating roaches don't want you to know this stuff, guys. They want you to waste copious amounts of time. They want you to be frustrated, be irritated, so you'll come back for more coaching. Thousand, five thousand dollar dating coach courses. You just didn't have enough game, bro. You don't understand game. I love when they say, oh, you don't understand game, bro. Oh, I understand it very well, son. You are lying to women to try to close the deal. Just be honest about it. You're kind of trying to create a good enough lie to close the deal. Tell me this doesn't contribute to more unhappiness for the little ladies, for the large ladies. This girl's large. Oh. I want to see that. <laughs> you guys don't want to see it, trust me. Oh, yeah, I do, man. I love fat girls. No, you don't. You got a fetish, son. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hit that like button as you guys come on in, as you stroll on in. So, yeah, they're duped all the time. So, they think they're going to parlay it into a relationship, guys. There was tons of girls that thought they could get into a relationship with me. They thought they could. Just like this little lingling right here. Oh, I'm gonna flail around. He's making me nervous. Uh, is he recording me? I don't know. Maybe he is, maybe he's not. Oh my god. <laughs> lingling. Nothing drives them more crazy, guys, when they don't know if you're paying attention to them or not. <laughs> I see how sick I am. Guys, I'm twisted. I'm a sick to all my little AWs. Oh, you're gonna get into it again. Don't ever date Paul. Don't date this light vest guy in his puke green shirt. You know what he's gonna you know what he did to me? You know what he did to me yesterday? I texted him good morning and he didn't even respond. He goes to me. Can you believe that? <laughs> uh, but I'm not gonna double text him. I'm just gonna complain to my girlfriends about him. I said good morning and he didn't respond. It's been 24 hours. He still hasn't responded, that jerk. <laughs> Ooh. 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 I'm gonna check my phone. Wait, 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 wait. I think, I think I got a message. I think I got a message. I think he, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it wasn't him. It was my stupid guy friend. My stupid simp guy friend. It wasn't Paul. <laughs> <laughs> text me, Paul, I'll text. Oh no, that is badass. Dude, that guy is on his bike with his feet up. Holy cow, he didn't have any hands on the Now that is impressive. Oh, Paul will text me. It's just my stupid guy friend. He wasn't Paul. You know what? Maybe, maybe if I uh maybe if I send him a naughty picture, maybe he'll respond to me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a naughty picture. I'm going to take a naughty picture and I'm going to send it to Paul. Maybe he'll respond to me. Maybe he'll pay attention to me. Maybe he'll pay attention to me. Here, I'm gonna, wait, hold on. Let me let me try a couple more. Oh, this one doesn't look good. Oh, wait, this one looks good. Okay, let me get one under. You know what I mean? The undercarriage. Let me get the undercarriage real quick. Oh, dang, elliptigos. Nice elliptigos. Oh, he can't hear me. Oh, well. Guys, they have elliptigos. Elliptigos are like these uh, elliptical bikes. These things are badass, man. They just high. Uh, it takes a lot of maintenance because <laughs> the tracks they get dirty. Expensive bikes, but very, very cool. Very like a like you're gliding. It's very, very cool stuff. Oh, text me back, that jerk. Oh, I'm gonna send him some some naughty pictures. Hit the like button as you guys come in. I'm gonna send him some naughty pictures. All right, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Here's a good one. Oh, that one doesn't look good. No, 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 no. Let me, okay, here, I'm gonna press send. Did it send? Did it send? Did he get it? This is Gen Z Kelly. <laughs> Maybe I can get him. Yeah, yeah, I feel confident now. That one looks really good. I've been working out. Because he told me I was fat. Paul told me I was fat. Can you believe that? He told me I was overweight. Now I'm sad. Making a sad face. Hit the like button as you guys come in. I'm making a sad face because Paul told me I was fat. I'm depressed. But I sent him I sent him some body pictures, so we'll see. It's been 30 seconds. He still hasn't responded. Oh no, I'm gonna tell my guy friends about you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna text Sippy Sam. 
Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Jensi Kim. It's okay. They're there. I would never do that to you. I would never ghost you if you sent me news and did all those things. I know. I know you would be there, Sippy Sam. I know I could use you for free mail validation and attention. I know I could just use you. And you'll just be there. Forever. <laughs> oh, that jerk. Why are guys such jerks, Sippy Sam? Oh, I don't know. I would never be a jerk to you. I would never treat you badly or poorly. I would be nice to you forever, and I would cherish your every word and every step, and I would never put any rules on you or restrict you in any way or tell you you were fat like Paul did. That jerk, that light vest jerk, how dare he? With his rambling streams going on forever and walking around, like a vagabond, like a bum. I would never do that. I would cherish you. Even if you had five children by him, I would be the single father that you can rely on. Oh, but he still won't respond. How come guys are so mean? <laughs> Maybe if I cry and I say how much he hurts me, and he'll respond. He still hasn't responded. Ding, ding, ding. Oh my god, I think it's him. When can I come over? Oh, it's not him again. I'm checking my phone while roller skating. I'm gonna crash. <laughs> oh, go ahead and hit the like button, guys. This is what they do, man. This is what they do when you guys crush their little heart, when you guys don't respond, when they are interested. They'll do whatever it takes. And of course, this increases their unhappiness even more because all they ever do is just wait all day on their phone, as you guys can see, watching to see if you'll respond, if you'll reach out to them, if you won't reject them. I've never been rejected. That's such a bunch of crap. <laughs> guys, the most beautiful women in the world get rejected all the time. That's why they have such low self-esteem. I've never been rejected. Yes, you have. A thousand freaking times. Top tier men kick them to the side of the road just like that. They flick them away. <sighs> it's, it's challenging, guys. It's really, really challenging dealing with them. And that's another reason why I say, guys, save up your money, relax, save up your resources, get ready. Get ready to just bounce. Because the West is done, man. It doesn't matter how many pretty girls there are, all in, are and all this other nonsense. It's irrelevant. Because at the end of the day, they got too much emotional baggage. There's too much baggage going on up top, man. It's too much pain. And that's just the bottom line. Their unhappiness has become the norm, right? All the ways to hurt themselves, the purple hair, the, you know, the bars through their faces, the nose rings. Guys, healthy people do not do that stuff to themselves. Tattoos all over themselves. I had a girl on a sugar uh, SD app, sugar daddy app. She messaged me yesterday, guys, she had a neck tattoo. Do you think people with real, sane, normal, healthy mentality do that to themselves? No, they don't, guys. They don't do that type of stuff. They take care of their body. They take care of their mind. They stay away from weirdos and freaks and creeps. And unfortunately, that's the average AW. They just get completely played when it comes to dating, man. They get completely played. The reason, look, the fact that you guys aren't even in, most of you guys aren't even in there, playing the game means you're winning. Because that's what this really ball boils down to, guys. It's a game. Who can get the most from who? Can you get the most hookups while spending the least money? And can she get the most resources, sanity, tenor, uh, time, energy, attention, or money out of you without putting out. 
That's what this really boils down to. Because no matter what they think, taking pictures of their feet, selling pictures of themselves online, on OF, all of this starts to eat away at their self-esteem. It starts to eat away at their confidence. It starts to eat away at everything that is them. Yeah, guys, it's depressing, it's disturbing, it's unsettling. When you break it down, when you break down where they're at and where they're going, it's right down into the gutter. And they're going to have to deal with this. The good news is you guys don't have to deal. The best part of all this, to all my legionnaires out there, you don't have to deal with any of this nonsense at all. It doesn't even matter if you... I, mean, I know I always bring this up, that you can be a short, fat, ugly disgusting dude and still do okay overseas that you could still get something out of life that it's not all bad while putting in a little bit of effort we all have to compete but at the end of the day you don't have to become high value you don't have to do all this craziness now if you want to do it for yourself and raise your standards look at this little Kaylee go She's a little chunky, but she's doing it. Look at her. I'm proud of her. She's jiggling. She's jiggling. She's jiggling, guys. But at the end of the day, guys, when you put in the effort for yourself and you start to put together parts of your life and just make your life better, all of a sudden you start smiling. You feel better. You start to feel like, dang, okay. All right. You know what I mean? Like, for example, guys, I went to the gym yesterday, put in the work. And I'm, dude, I'm 44, guys. I'm an old ass man. And I put up, you know, grab that raw bar. And I put up some fat deadlifts. I was like, okay, that's not bad. And then I did some pretty insane squats. I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty damn good. I stretched. I did all these things. And I didn't do it for chicks, guys. Not at all. Because back in the day, I used to be told all the time, that you need to put in all this effort and women are the prize. No, they're not. Women are not the prize. They've never been the prize ever before in history. Hit that like button, guys. Hit the like button as you come on in. They were never the prize. And it was just beaten into my brain like a lot of other people, a lot of other guys, that they are somehow this prize that you need to chase after. When in all reality, the less effort that you put in towards going after them, all of a sudden they're chasing you. Gentlemen, you could be Chadwick Fairbanks, you could be Tyronius Maximus, if you're chasing women, you're turning them off. You're scaring them away. You're freaking them out in the West. Now it's different overseas. Again, this is why I bring up traditional foreign women all the time. Hit that like button as you come in. Traditional foreign women are so different overseas, it's not even funny. In fact, you approach a traditional foreign woman overseas and she's going to be extraordinarily receptive she's going to be into you and that's what i had to get used to when i started traveling guys is when i is that i could approach them and they would be so friendly and they wouldn't play any stupid little american games no head games no trying to get you to follow their stupid little lead there's none of that crap guys and then what happens is they start approaching you. That's the craziest part of all because they understand that they need to secure you for a relationship. They need to secure you. Yes, they need to put forward forth effort. They have to tell you everything that's on the table and then some, oh damn, hit the like button. They have to tell you what they have to offer because if they don't, they're screwed. Look at this goofy little Kaylee. She's tall, man. She's tall, Kaylee. She's kind of goofy. <laughs> Just like, oh. <laughs> I thought she was going to fall for a sec. I think she's my height, man. She's pretty tall. Ugh. The old woman. Ugh. She's tall, too, but ugh, I don't want to see that. Anyway. And yeah, they start approaching you. That's the most incredible thing about overseas. I was approached multiple times while I was overseas, guys. Multiple. I was approached by pros, and I was approached by traditional foreign women. And the difference was very clear. 
that's what's so funny. Not only are you approached by traditional form, when you're approached by pros, by, you know, <laughs> let's just say, you know, whatever you want to call them, professionals. And the professionals are very scantily clad, and the traditional foreign women who approached me were very modestly clad. And the modest little traditional foreign women were very sweet. They were very giggly. And they were very, very shy. They were scared. They were nervous, but the professionals were very upfront. Oh, handsome man. Oh, sexy man, come, come see me, you know, all this other crap. And you're told in the West that they're the prize? I don't think so, guys. I don't think so, not even close. That's that simping nonsense from the baby boomer generation. <laughs> Romantic. It really annoys me about the baby boomers is they start that romanticizing nonsense. Now, of course, my generation, much more cynical. But geez, that more romanticizing nonsense is just, just, it just, it's just sickening. Everything syrupy, sweet, and all that. It doesn't work. You literally have baby boomers moving back in with their parents. Whew. Everything is feelings based. No, it's not, son. You know what I mean? It's just obnoxious. It's on my nerves sometimes. Thank God they're going to be gone soon. That's when the divorce has really started. <laughs> you know? It's just funny. It can, it can be a quite irritating. But that's why I want you guys to know you've got all the freaking options. You don't have to deal with any of this nonsense. You don't have to tow any line. You do not have to wait. The ladies can say it till they're blue in the face that men are single and lonely and all this nonsense. What you ladies don't understand is guys can go and get anything that they want at pretty much any time. They can choose. They have freedom of choice and you don't. And that's another reason why the little ladies are so unhappy. They don't have as much choice as they think they do. They scroll on their phone all freaking day trying to find a date. <laughs> I'll have more options than ever on my phone. Yeah, good for you. And they're all seeking other do uh, other. <sighs> all the options on your guy, your lady's phones are all virtual, and none of them have proposed to you in person. I want you to shut off your phone for a second. I want you to take your phone. I want you to press the power button. Just like this, hit that power button. And when your phone goes off, I want you to list in the real world who is actually actively vetting you for an actual relationship. Oh, that's right. That's what I thought. <laughs> Nobody. Well, the guys are much better. It doesn't matter what the guys are. The guys can get... You, see, what you ladies don't understand is guys can get relationships. They may not be with the women that they want in the West, but then all they need to do is brush up on their languages and go overseas, hit that like button as you guys come in. All they need to do is take their passports and bounce. It's pretty simple. It's not that complicated. They have more options than you do to upgrade at pretty much any time. You don't, ladies. Your life span your dating lifespan, whatever you want to call it, that timeline is limited. And that's what you really don't want to deal with, is that time is not on your side. This is another reason why women are so unhappy, guys. They're hitting the wall at record speed. The physical wall when they're in their teens. The emotional wall when they're in their teens, early 20s. And then the physical, or no, the biological wall, when they hit 30 and all of a sudden, all their powers just go away. Less and less matches, less and less dates, quote unquote, less and less options. They had their best years and they wasted them. This is the rise of the unhappy woman, gentlemen in the West. And it's going to get a lot worse. It's going to get to the point where they cannot even satisfy even the basic happiness requirements. They're getting married to them. It's so bad in the West. They're getting married to themselves. This is how nutty it's getting. 
They're <laughs> they're literally marrying themselves. Do you understand how crazy that is? <laughs> if a guy married himself, he would be ridiculed mercilessly. He would be laughed at for in, for to the end of time. But people don't even bat an eye at this. <laughs> you got Western women marrying ghosts. This is how bad it is. Anything to feel wanted. Anything to get attention. Yeah. The unhappy Western woman, guys, has migrated, has morphed, has become something absolutely mind-bendingly out to lunch. And it, boy, oh boy, <laughs> the failure triangle will be complete. Hit that like button as you guys come in. Oh yeah, failure over and over again and over again. Blame men for your problems. Do something completely self-destructive. Take no accountability for it. And then repeat. And then <laughs> rinse and repeat. <laughs> I mean, how much more crazy can it get? How much more confused can it get? Oh, it can get a lot worse. Man, my abs are getting tight, guys. My abs are getting tight. Say about, mm, I don't know, 10 more pounds of body fat. I'll be pretty solid. My leg is kind of itchy. I don't know why. But this is what they had to look forward to, gentlemen. It's going to be a rough, rough, rough go of it. <laughs> Little Kaylee, she smiled at me. Then when she realized I wasn't a recording her, she stopped smiling. <laughs> Uh, oh man, I have so much, guys, I have so much fun sometimes on these streams, just why people coming towards me, asking me questions and, you know, <laughs> some of the girls trying to get attention, waving, you know, you guys don't see some of the stuff that goes down, but they'll like wave for a second and then they give up when they realize I'm not paying attention to them. Oh man. <laughs> oh, poor little AWs. They don't, guys, they have no, here's what's funny about all this, all these discussions we have, to, to my legionnaires, to all these discussions, all these, pot, uh, every pff, thousands and thousands of hours have popped up already with the content, they don't know any of this stuff is coming. Isn't that sad? They literally, <laughs> they have no idea what the, what is this girl's fault, maybe? What is your problem, maybe? She's like right on my ass. Okay. You have no idea what's coming, buddy. Let me tell you. What the hell is your problem, dude? She's all over it. She's all over my backside. I'm trying to get in the video. That's not happening, lady. You're probably a nice individual, but I am not interested. Please uh, move on. Oh, yeah, guys. Sometimes when I, as soon as I stop the stream, you know, oh, hi, you're a you're YouTuber and all that. Yeah, they have no idea what's coming, guys. Hit that like button as you guys come in. They really don't know what's happening. They don't understand what's going to happen over the next few years, even over the next few months. They really have no clue, and that's why they come to social media so confused. What's going on? Why aren't guys going out? Why aren't I getting dates anymore? How come you don't want to marry us? Why are you going overseas? They're asking all these silly questions that we already know the answers to. You see what I mean? They really have no clue, guys. They're really, really lost. I'm not saying feel sorry for them. It's just unfortunate. They're going to have to deal with a lot of the stuff. All... <laughs> <laughs> I try not to. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh, that guy Paul! You know what he did again? You know what he did again? All you legionnaires out there, you know what he did? I, I, I said, aren't we going out to, tonight? And he said, and he didn't even respond to me. Even though he told me like three days ago, hey, are you available on Thursday? And I said yes. And I said, cool, how around about 8, 8, 8 p.m.? And I said, yes. And then guess what he did? He didn't even respond. And then the day came, and then he just ghosted me. And I said, hey, are we still on? 
and he didn't even respond to me. I can't. <laughs> oh, this is Gen Z Kelly. Now I'm going to get online and complain. Oh, now I'm going to say, if you have a green shirt on or you're a light vest guy or you got a silly, stupid sun hat on, I'm never going out with you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post anecdotal red flags. And somehow, just somehow, I'm going to get some sympathy. Somehow, people are going to listen to me. <laughs> that jerk, Paul. But you know what? If he actually texted me, I would, I'd be, I would come over in a heartbeat. But that's what he did. He broke my heart again. <laughs> Why do I keep going back to him? I hate him. Hit the like button, guys, as you come on in. Oh, there's a little, there's an old vending machine. I wonder if that thing works. That is like the oldest vending machine. Probably because it's right by the sea. <laughs> the poor, the poor AWs, man. They really, they just don't know what they're doing, man. They have no clue whether they're coming or going. They have no clue. They just don't know. They, they have no, they don't understand why things aren't going well for them. And why, here's the worst part of it all, guys. AWs don't know why everybody's lying to them. They really don't. And sometimes they don't even know that everybody's lying to them. It's really sad, man. It's sad and pathetic. Hit that like button as you guys come in. They keep crying. And they keep wondering, and then they, they don't understand why they're not getting the results that they want. They really don't know, guys. They don't understand why they're not getting the outcomes that they want so badly. You know what I want for Paul? I just want a relationship. He, he doesn't want a relationship. He says he kind of does, but maybe he doesn't. And then he says, maybe I do, but maybe I don't. Oh, is there, there steps there? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool, guys. Yeah, he says sometimes he wants a relationship, but then he doesn't feel like it. And he says maybe in the future. So then I think to myself, you know what? Maybe he'll be with me. Maybe, maybe if I say, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? This is Gen Z Kelly. I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures of myself again. Oh, that one doesn't look good. Oh, I don't like this one. Oh, I don't like that one. He won't like that. It makes me look fat, and he hates fat girls. All right, let's see if he'll pay attention now. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, hold on. Let me find him. Okay, send. Let's see if he responds. This is the second time I'm sending him some naughty pictures. Let's see if he go ahead and responds. You know what, maybe if I show, send him some of the old naughty pictures that I sent to other guys, maybe he'll be interested. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Send. He hasn't responded. It's been a full 30 seconds. I'm going to ask Simpy Sam why. Oh. Sippy Sam's back. You know what? It's okay, Gen Z Kelly. It's okay. They're there. It's okay. You can be the shoulder that you, I can be the shoulder you cry on. But that jerk, that jerk out there, that jerk Paul, you, should, you shouldn't even be talking to him. You shouldn't even be looking at his pictures. I know he's handsome and I know you love his sexy sunglasses and sun hat. But let me tell you something. There's better guys out there like me who worship the ground you work, walk on. Even though I don't really understand that that's not what women really want. They want rules and structures. And they want discipline. But I don't understand that at all because I'm Sippy Sam. Hit the like button as you guys come in. Oh, that doesn't work, Sippy Sam. He's still not responding. I'm going to throw a tantrum. I'm going to throw a tantrum and make everyone look at me in public. <laughs> guys, that's what you get in the... <laughs> Oh, that's what you get in the West. <laughs> you get a bunch of tantrum-throwing, childish behavior. <laughs> that's what you get, man. 
You think this person's going to understand logic and reason? I love all, you know, what's really funny is you see all these unhappy 304s, whatever, OF girls go on these podcasts, right? And it's effing hysterically funny because they're absolutely, <laughs> they have RBF. They've got tattoos all over. They're completely ran through. And they're there to promote their OF page and all this other nonsense. And you got these dorky podcast guys trying to talk sense into them. We're having a discussion. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Look, I'm all for the, the podcast guys. You guys keep doing your thing. But don't tell me you're trying to convince them of the error of their ways and show everybody. Guys, they don't care. I got news for all my podcast guys. They couldn't care less. They're laughing at you. To all my podcast guys, to every guy doing podcasts, have at it. I'm not knocking your hustle. What I'm saying is they don't care what you guys are talking about. They laugh at you behind your back. And that's why they constantly try to disrupt your streams, create chaos. They've agreed as a collective whole, no pun intended, They've agreed as a collective whole that none of what you say means absolutely, it doesn't mean anything to them. They're living in a world of feelings and delusion. And no matter how much you guys, you could have 8 billion podcasts about how wild they are. It's irrelevant. Now, some of you try to repackage it and say, oh, I'm trying to teach simps not to simp. At the end of the day, guys, I got bad news for you. Simps are going to simp. They are going to simp until they have a spiritual awakening, until they get burned badly enough, until they have an awakening, whatever you want to call it, crimson caps, all this nonsense. It doesn't matter. They're not coming over until they see the light, until they, until they see the truth. No amount of you showing them, telling them all this other stuff is going to do anything else. Now, you may help out future generations of guys to see what's going on. I'll give you that. You may enlighten them. But as far as the current generation, that's not doing anything. The current generation... And look, I'm not knocking anybody's hustle. I'm not knocking anybody's hustle. Go get it. Is it silly? Yes. I'm going to comment on it. It's not necessarily stupid. It's just kind of silly. The podcast. That's all. I actually find them entertaining, to be honest with you. Sometimes. Sometimes it's entertaining to me. So you guys keep that up. But as far as changing these little 304s, no. It's, it's too late. They sealed their fate a long time ago. It's going to take about two to three generations before they really get it. And then after that, probably another full generation just to get on track. You see what I'm saying? It's going to take a long, long, holy macro long time. And by then, guys, I'll be worm food. So, and to any of my older guys, you're going to be worm food. Maybe to some of my Gen Z and Gen Alpha guys, you'll see some of the, the beginnings of the, you know, evolution of women who don't have tattoos, women who are pure. You're going to be blown away by it, too. You guys are going to be, when you guys actually meet pure women who don't have, I, I've got, you know what, I need to post this in, in my community forum, but have you guys ever even met a woman who's pure? I mean, for real. Have you ever met a woman with no body count? You know what I mean? Wade no, no boys is laughing. I see them always complaining on YouTube and TikTok about why they want a good guy when they love bad guys. Oh, yeah. They have no... Guys, they don't even know what they... want. They're so confused. They only understand impulse. They only understand procreation. They don't under, even understand their own behavior. It gets crazy sometimes. I agree. They're really, really, really confused. Now, guys, some traditional foreign women are attracted to a little bit of bad boys, but not nearly what you would ever expect. Guys, pure women do not want bad boys. I'm going to say this once and for all. I'm making a stand. Traditional foreign women don't want bad boys at all. 
They do not want chads. Gentlemen, when I started going overseas, I realized that the good girls were very wary of me. Good girls are not in to jerks, to a-holes, to bad boys. Guys, they don't want anything to do with that. If you're a bad boy, if you're evil, if you're whatever, traditional foreign women are going to avoid you like the plague because they know, oops, let's hit that guy. Sorry, buddy. He's moving pretty quickly too. Let me stay in the shade. Oh, porcelain skin feels better. Guys, when you have white skin, the sun will burn. Look at look at how crazy. I got a neon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm a freaking maniac, dude. I swear. Bad boys are not welcome with traditional foreign women. They want good men. Not. I'm not talking about a pushover. I'm not talking about a simp. They want a good guy. A guy who's normal. Average. Five foot eight. Five nine. Uh, gentle. I mean, he can still have a backbone, but the only thing they care about is if you lead, provide, and protect, gentlemen. And they will follow, support, and save. Traditional foreign women are not like these disgusting American Western thoughts who have tattoos all over and are gross and fat and disgusting. <laughs> You know what's funny, guys? When they don't want to hear what I'm saying, when I'm really loud and they hear me, you know what they do? They whip their hair. <laughs> See, I know American women is better than the other. They whip their hair and then they talk louder than me. They try to over talk me when they can hear me saying horrible things. <laughs> See, I love describing people that <laughs> oh, I have too much fun. Oh, my God. One of these girls is going to try to take a swing at me. No, they're not. Look at, the, look at this bull. Look at the, <laughs> uh, you know, guys, as crazy as I've been in my lifetime, I've never had a girl take a swing at me. You want to know why? Because they know I wouldn't take it. <laughs> uh, this is funny. You got the, you know, chubby, chunky American girls with tattoos, and I'm just bad-mouthing them constantly <laughs> as loud as it's shouting it out to them, to you guys. See, I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm irritating them. I'm entertaining you guys. And I'm getting my jollies all rolled into one. You see, it's a trifecta of hilariousness. <laughs> <laughs> they started whipping their hair. They start. They they can hear guys. They can hear me. I'm shouting at the top of my, not at the top of my lungs, but I'm shouting. I'm projecting my voice. Like right now, guys, you can hear me a good 10, 15, 20 feet, for sure. So anyway, if they don't like it, too bad. It's the public space. It's public area. Oh, there's a little Kayleaf. Hey, Kayleaf. Hi, I'm running. Oh, man. She's in tip-top shape, guys. We might have to go say hello. Hello, little Kaylee. Mm, I'm not interested right now. I'm just kind of running, but maybe. Okay, Kaylee. What do your emotions tell you? Um, mm, uh. Mm. <laughs> That's how we are, though. Kaylee. Oh, that big girl's going back. Oh, I want to see her. So, yeah, traditional foreign women, guys, want nothing to do with bad boys. So when I went overseas, when I went overseas, when I started going outside of the country, when I went to Mexico, when I started going to China, et cetera, when I started going further south, further east, et cetera, guess what? Being a bad boy was not attractive at all to the traditional foreign women. In fact, they avoided me. I could tell they were nervous. And this one Vietnamese girl, I'll never forget, she goes, she goes, you look like you play with women. Oh, this, this, this old, this girl's staying in shape. I'm proud of you, oldie. I'm proud of you. She's like, you look like you play with women. And I said, really? Yes, you look like, she was essentially saying, oh, you're a player. And it, dude, I'm not looking at you. Trust me. <laughs> this couple was like staring at me. <laughs> Never mind. But they looked at me like, you know, I want an average guy. And that's when I started to really realize, and I, when I spoke to these girls, 
guys, they're not looking for a six foot five, 250 pound freaking steel jaw. They're not looking for that stuff. They're looking for a normal freaking guy. It doesn't matter if she's attractive. If she's attractive, that's normal. Your average traditional foreign woman guys, they're going to be at least decent. All right. And if they're homely, they're really going to be nice to you. All right. If they're like really homely, they're going to be very nice to you because they have to be. They have no choice, guys. The competition is brutal because they know they have a limited amount of time. And Western women just don't understand this. They don't get it. This is another reason why they have a disconnect from reality or they're so unhappy. They don't understand what's happening, guys. Oi. What else? We're just having too much fun over here, gentlemen. Hit that like button as you come in. So yeah, what's going to happen is the little ladies are going to flounder, unfortunately, in the West. They're going to keep chasing top tier guys, guys, even into their 30s, 40s, 50s, to my legionnaires. They're still going to do it. I still get old women hitting me up, approaching me. Oh, man, there are little K-Leafs out today, guys. Let me tell you, holy cow. Younger women will always be my thing. I don't care if you try to shame it. You can try to twist it any way you want. Legal, of age, younger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, they, by the way, the older you are, guys, the more they're going to be. Now, not all of them, of course, but a good chunk of them are going to be very interested in you. They're going to be very intrigued. Especially if you just keep yourself in decent shape. Here's, okay, let's just make a breakdown, guys. If you're just in decent shape, oh, this little man, oh, you know, I'm very confused. This man is on his phone, and he is trying to get to, what is this? Is this like a festival or some crap? The festival going on over here, guys. Ah, I must skip it. I must sacrifice for you gentlemen and do multiple streams a day and send out shorts and go crazy. Because that is more important. And I'm getting hungry. Holy cow, I'm hungry. This is more important that I entertain you gentlemen than go be entertained myself because that is a sacrifice I must make because I was a Chadwick Fairbanks for too many years. I was a Tyronius Maximus for too many years. Womp, womp, womp. I strung too many girls along. I broke too many hearts. And yeah, guys, I got played too. We all did. I'm not embarrassed by it. I had girls that said, oh, I want to be with you. And I was like, oh, okay. Let me get rid of all my... <laughs> well, you know what? I found somebody better. Well... Yeah. What is this guy doing with this boat? Is he, like, cleaning it out over here? Oh. I guess he's, like, sanding it down or something. That's weird. How would you sand your boat down in a parking lot? Well, more power to you, man. You got to do what you got to do. Guys, boats need constant, constant repair. See, even if I had boat money, I, I, I'd be honest with you guys, I don't think I could do it. It's just so freaking expensive to maintain, you know? I don't know. I mean, guys do it on the, on the inexpensive like this guy. But even then, you got to truck it around, you got to put it in the slip, and it's fun. Guys, I've been jet skiing. Oh my, uh, uh, not jet skiing, water skiing. And had a ton of fun. This is a speedboat for sure. Guys, look at the size of the engine compared to the boat. Look at the freaking size of the engine compared to this. <laughs> it's just a massive, <laughs> holy mackerel. How big is that freaking? Dude, how did he even fit it on this boat? I mean, seriously, how the hell did he fit it on this boat? Is it for sale? Oh, it is for sale. Huh. No wonder. Because <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. It's for sale. More power to you, dude. Let me see what he's got going on here. Maybe I'll buy a boat with my boat money. Oh, it's definitely a speedboat. It's like got nothing in here. Yeah, it's just a speedboat. Well, that's pretty cool, though. Good for him. Ah, For us mortals, 
We must chill. I need some food. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, gentlemen. <sighs> the rise of the unhappy woman. They just get played all the time in the dating marketplace, guys. And it's going to get so much worse. The fact that guys are leaving, that average guys are just leaving the dating marketplace is going to make their lives that much worse because now they really will have to share. See, this is what the ladies don't understand. They're going to have to start really sharing. And here's the worst part. This is even worse. Is the top tier guys are not going to settle for any of them. The top tier guys get bored and just flick them. Flick. You see what I'm saying? Top tier guys are going to cycle through them even quicker. Do you see what I'm getting at? And they sure as heck aren't going to wife up any of these women. And the sad part, here's what's so sad, guys. Even the sugar babies try to get a relationship from you. Oh, yeah, guys. I've partaken. <laughs> I've literally done it all. I've been married, sugar babies, um, escorts, uh, girlfriends, you name it. I have no, no qualms. I think you're going to pay eat one way or the other, which you will. You're either going to pay up front or on the back end. So you might as well just go for it. Anyway, even then, guys, they're trying to get relationships. And no, I wasn't a, against any SA work before. But then when I really realized you were going to pay one way or the other, I was like, I might as well just pay on the front end. And here's what's funny. I told other girls about this. They were blown away. They're like, oh my God, you pay for it? I would never do that. But then they're like intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they're like, well, why would you pay for it? You're good looking, you're tall. It doesn't matter. I don't want to deal with the headache. I don't want to deal with the headache. The headaches are why you're paying. You're paying them to get out of your face. You're going to pay one way or another, son. You're going to pay with your sanity, time, energy, attention, or money with AWs. And I know guys, some guys are divided on this, but look. Choose your path. Choose which way you want to pay, son. For real. <laughs> you know, some of the best times I ever had with women were when I paid and got the hell out of there. Because then there was no... They didn't hound me. They didn't... Neck. See, most of you guys have never even had a moment where you haven't been hounded or nagged or harassed or cajoled. What are you doing later? What are you doing on the 15th? What are you doing next year? Why don't you ever take me out? What's wrong with your apartment? How come you never clean? Blah, blah, blah. Some of you guys have never experienced no nagging. <laughs> That's all you experience is nagging and cajoling and harassment. They just leave you alone. And to some guys, to a lot of guys, that peace of mind is worth a couple hundred bucks to get the heck out a hundred bucks whatever because that's essentially what all of them are doing anyway they want you to pay for their time i don't care if she's traditional foreign or she's liberal from the west you're going to pay one way or another son the good news is traditional foreign woman gives you the least expensive contract the least expensive long-term contract she is the most affordable Let's just be honest, guys. Traditional foreign women are affordable. They're not cheap. They're not low quality. They are affordable. And it's an amazing, amazing event. It's an amazing feeling. Wade Nabois says, sometimes what makes... Uh, let's see. Sometimes what makes it very hilarious is that AW start to do the approaching at school, camp, work, library, just gym, and more. Oh, yeah, guys. It's hysterically funny. They are the worst. Women have absolutely... Um, Western women... Okay, let's just say AWs have the worst game. They have terrible... They're terrible at approaching. They'll say things like, oh, do you work here? And you're like, what? They'll just say the dumbest, weirdest, creepy... Now, more power to them for approaching because they have to wade you guys think this is the this the amount of approaching that's going to happen in the next few years is going to be eye-opening 
to Western men. They're going to be blown away. They're not going to understand why they're getting approached so much. They're going to be absolutely floored at how much they're approached because what's happening is not only are AWs sharing the top guys in the dating apps, but they're not getting attention anymore from regular dudes. Simping is dying, guys. You can't have simping without the A-ism word. I mean, I'm not A-ism, F-ism. The F-ism word, you cannot have simping without F-ism. You can't. The two are mutually, are not mutually exclusive. They coexist together. You need both of them. You need both of them for simps to survive, for angry Western women to survive. That's the only way they survive. Oh, it's little linglings. Guys, you know, that's my weakness. Gentlemen, that is my weakness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. I'm, I'm becoming a creeper. I'm such a creep. I'm a freaking creep. That is correct. <laughs> I'm just kidding, little Lily. She's not really, she's, she's I. Right. But she's a little young. <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a creep, guys. I'm a real creep. Just for fun sometimes. Sometimes I like creep. I like my little linglings in shape. Gotta be in shape, lingling. To all my linglings, to all my Latinas out there, to all my Kayleys that are interested, you must be in shape. I don't care who you are. Do not approach if you are overweight. I have zero interest. If you are out of shape, I have zero interest. Negative interest. Keep that. Go to the gym. That's what you got to do. If your hair is short, I'm not interested. If you are over the age of 24, I am not interested. If your face is not at least a six, I'm not interested. I got bad news for you. Do not approach. Do not approach. Take it home. Do not touch me. Do not come up to touch me either. I had some girls after some streams try to touch me and during streams try to touch me. Do not try to touch me. You will get sorely rejected, if not worse, because that is assault. I don't want you touching me. I didn't ask for your permission. Well, you didn't ask for my permission. And I didn't ask you to touch me. So don't do it. Because you're going to get embarrassed. Oh yeah, guys, I got I to gotta give these disclaimers because your boy is getting more famous. Okay? <laughs> you little Asian baby. Guys, Asian babies are the funniest, fattest. They're so cute. You, you just want to get... <laughs> Asian babies. They're so cute. <laughs> little Asian babies. They're very well behaved, usually. Because they have strong parents. But yeah, do not approach me. Do not touch me if you are, do not hit those basic requirements. I don't care what your race is. And if you have a big nose, I'm not interested. All right? If your face is not a six or above, I'm not interested. You know what I'm talking about. If your body is not in, tip, is not in shape, if your body's not at least a seven, not interested. If you're not in shape, I don't care about size of rack and all this other crap. Don't care. You have to be in shape. It's a non-negotiable. You have to have long hair, non-negotiable. And see, this is, guys, as you move up in life, as you get older, you're going to start eliminating 90, 95% of the women that come after you. I don't care what you look like. You're going to start holding them to a high, high standard. And they have to accept it. They have no choice. See, I got bad news for my little ladies out here. You don't have a choice. Your only other choice is essentially boxed wine and cat food. <laughs> that's, all, that's all you get. Because, gentlemen, I've been approached more times in the past few years than I've ever been approached in my entire life by AWs. Not by traditional foreign women, by AWs. And traditional foreign women have approached me too. Check out how beauteous it is, gentlemen. We live in the lap of luxury in the West. 
with boats and Ferraris and Lamborghinis and ah, I don't know. I might do another stream today. Maybe, maybe not. I need to eat something, recharge. You know, maybe I'll do a stream one day from the gym when I'm walking on the treadmill. Would that be too noisy for you guys? Would that be too noisy? I don't know. I don't know. That seems like it'd be noisy. Because there's always gym music going on. You know what I mean? But we'll see. Maybe I'll just do a vlog from my bike. It has a little mountain stuff, but I, pro I don't know. We'll see. I have a stand-up bike, but it might be too nauseating for you gentlemen. Check it out. It is gorgeous out today. Hit that like button as you file on in. Making it happen in Southern California. Yeah. Then we rock out and annoy normies. And <laughs> uh, we have too much fun on these streams, gentlemen. Yeah, unfortunately, the little AWs are unhappy. Unfortunately, there's really nothing we can do for them. Unfortunately, whew, yeah, they got a long, long ways to go, guys. And they're going to keep getting played in the dating marketplace. The dating marketplace is going to destroy the vast majority of them. It is going to eat them alive. You know, gentlemen, do you understand how many of them get ghosted? How many of them get left on red? You know how many times I've done <laughs> Guys, that was part of the problem, I'm not going to lie. You know how often that happens to them? All the time. And they have to come to grips with the fact that they're just not attractive enough. They are not interesting enough. They are not what the guys are looking for. And it is what it is. They just got to deal with it. Whew. Yeah, it's rough. But this is the whole The Little Ladies of Duck. It is what it is. And yeah. Poor little ladies. <laughs> we'll talk more about it later on, guys. I'm going to go eat something. Don't you punch the like button on the way out. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Share this stream. Become a legionnaire. Hit the notification bell. Show your solidarity. Never forget. We've got the options. We're having a good time. Let the little ladies flounder. Stay on your purpose. And as always, you will get your traditional foreign women as you get more seasoned, as you get older, as you have more fun in life. You're going to get a lot of the things that women want. Whew. Keep kicking ass, brothers. We're going to do it. Worldwide Legionnaire Styly. Until next time, definitely watching you. So let's get to it. <laughs>